Well, we got a new addition to the office here. And I got to give a big shout out to old WW Wild Wayne. This is uh, really nice, Wayne. I don't have speakers yet, but I did figure out a way to hook up my headphones to it. And it works grand. Yeah, Wayne gave us this turntable for a housewarming uh, gift. He's had it since before we moved in, but we just now was able to get together and pick it up. Great asset for the the old home office here. So, uh, yep. Thank you very much, Wayne. It's a shout out to you. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Now I can unpack all my albums. Well, you seen that little uh, gift? That was pretty cool from old Wild Wayne. Uh, we got back. We're back from the vacation, as you might have noticed, because videos are gone uh we got a lot of i got a lot of projects out there to get on here's my new sign i picked up out there at yellowstone but it's so uh, nice i don't know if i want to put it in the house or or if i want to put it uh, in the shop but we finally got rain here look at that i think we this is uh, like a third rainy day in a row not rain compared to like a lot of you people get but for us as you've seen in that uh, Palisades video, we need water out here out west, that's for sure. So, uh, anyway, i got projects in here. Let's go, uh, go in here and show you what i got to do. Well, I drug all my speakers out and letting that drive over there. That's yesterday's video, or a couple days ago. Anyway, it uh, doesn't look like my speakers are going to fit in this board. These will. But those won't. Them come out of my truck. So I got to find a bigger board or do something. But I'm just checking it out. Stay tuned. You'll see the rest of it in the next clip. I think this is just about where we ended the last video. Before the video I'm showing you right now. On uh, the speakers and the new uh, gift from Wild Wayne. This will come on, this will be on that video. But before that, I was building all this, unboxing that, you've seen all that. And so that's where we're gonna take up right now. Uh, got the speakers taken apart out of the boxes. I got the, everything uh, drawn out where I need to cut the holes here. And I was gonna try to use that to get a nice perfect circle, but I don't know if I will. Because uh, it's, it's, it's uh, saber saw will work just great on that jigsaw, jigsaw. So that's probably what we'll use on here. And what I'm going to do is cut out the holes first, because when I cut this down to that length, that don't leave much meat here, and I don't want to bust it. My and this holds it good. That's another good thing about this little table. It's going to hold projects there. I can cut right through there, and it ain't going to hit nothing. The blade ain't going to go down that far, and it'll hold it nice and secure there for me. So I'm going to do that right now. I don't need, you know how to cut out a hole. I ain't even going to show you that. Hang in here. We'll look, see what it looks like when it's done. we got to make two of those. Oh, so, yeah, and the other board I was going to use, this one is not wide enough. So what we're going to do, these are all scrap boards. Remember I picked up that old bed and tore it apart? I'm going to use this for the sides. That's how deep the thing will be. This will be the sides to it. I got enough there to make two speakers. It's only going to be that deep and uh, only that tall over there. I'll show you in a second. I'm going to chop that off right now. Tripod will be used today. A lot of you probably remember there's supposed to be a plug-in up there so I can bring power down to my table. Remember that? I griped about it through the whole build. They didn't do it. So what I've done, I went old school. At least I won't be getting my foot hooked in the loops on a cord. So I just wanted to show you that part. We got this uh, two holes cut in this board. Now this got to be chopped off down to here. So now what I'm going to do is lay this board on top of the next board. Like so. I'm going to draw out. The, this worked really good, by the way, on the clamping of uh, doing them holes and stuff. So we got both holes there. 
And now I just draw this sign, I draw there and there, and then we got uh, the next two holes. Then we'll trim it off to the, the length we need and the width. This is how wide it'll be. We wanted it one inch past uh, the edge of the ring, which the ring goes like so on this one. Um, this is a punch audio speakers here. The others are Pioneer. I don't think they'll fight. But that goes like so. That'll be okay. This will all be painted black to match everything else in the house. So that's what I'm going to do now. Cut them out. Uh, good enough. It ain't perfect, but who's going to see it? It's inside a box. Let's get going. Got them both done. Now all I got to do is put them in my sled, chop everything off to size. That's all I can do because Ziggy's playing music. Well, as you can see, the holes are done. Speakers fit. So uh, now we just build the sides and the back for each one. And we're gonna, we're going to, uh, oh no. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice and, nice and even all the way around. I like it that way, perfect. Perfect, I like it perfect. Yeah, or as much so as I can. Anyway, there we go. Okay, good to go. Let's, uh, let's see, that's all I got to show you right now. Let's get working on the sides. Well, we got the backs cut. I had to go back to my old scrap pile. I'm gonna use this for the back. Nobody's gonna see the back anyway. I was gonna use something lighter over there, but it wasn't wide enough. So I'm gonna size that down, make backs out of that one. And then we'll start chopping the other one up and making uh, the sides and the tops. Ziggy, continue playing music. There we go. I had him down. All right, here's the plans. So I'm gonna use this for the front edge. That'll be, this will be up here. This will be up here. That leaves a nice little groove around it there. It'll all be painted black. And then this side will go over here. Let's see. This side will go here. Like I said, this will be lifted up to the front. And then that little junk piece will go in the back. Once I get this assembled, then I'll measure it for the top. I should have enough material left out of the old bedwood. <laughs> I like that name, bedwood. To do the top, at least, if not the top and uh, the bottom. I don't know. I just have to measure it and see if I have to put junk bird down there. I do. Uh, I'm not buying wood at the expensive price they're asking for it. Uh, we'll figure it out, but I'm going to uh, use a finish nailer and glue, naturally. Glue that all together, get that squared up. I even got some uh, tools for that over here for squaring that stuff up. We'll put these on there, make that corner nice and square. So. Let's get on to that. I'll give you a picture of how them look when I get it done. I've only got a set of four of these. So I'm just going to do the front here, nail it off. It's nice and smooth. It's all held together. It's definitely square. And then uh, I'm going to turn it around and put the, uh, the backside on it once it's nailed. Okay, that's one uh, box uh, put together, except for the top and the bottom. Wipe off the excess glue on it, it'll be fine. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed it or not, but this is the wrong piece. Ain't supposed to have the holes here, they're supposed to be inside. Hey, no big deal, I'll just fill them in and uh, Everything will be the same. It's just, I was put, gonna put the holes on the inside. But when I seen the lines on this one, I thought, well, I'll just put them inside. Wasn't even thinking. Oh, well, we all screw up. Anyway, that's gonna look pretty good, I think. Got that little molding there. We'll, once that's all painted nice and black, sander down. Let's get on to the other one. Well, our first electrical outage. Everything's down. Well, not everything. Security's got a backup system. Uh, come to think of it, so does my computer, so it's probably still in there running away. Uh, but this is done. 
and uh, I had a couple cuts left to do, but no electricity. More than one way to skin a cat, they say. <laughs> it took a lot of oof from there to run the saw, but it did. So, I got one more, uh, I gotta cut the bottoms out now for this. And then I could uh, sand it and paint it, see if we got enough juice for that. Well, I got my saw cuts all done with the little thing out there going. Here's the last piece right here. It slides in right like that. We'll tap it in and glue it in, and then the bottom's done. That one's done over there. So uh, I want to sand them down and then uh, drill the holes for the speaker wires and such. I'll probably do that today, yeah. But uh, I want to get them painted before I put them in there naturally. So probably even do that tomorrow because it's been a long day. I don't know what time it is, but I know it's. We passed my quitting time. So I'm going to call this a wrap for today. There will probably be another video hooked on to the bottom of this. Or after this. <laughs> Who knows? One last test fit before I go in. I filled in the little holes too. And I got everything ready for the, the back speaker wires. So, uh, yeah, sanding and painting tomorrow and mounting the speakers in and such. And I don't know where the other cover is. Uh, so anyway, uh, they got to look okay. Should sound good too. Because those were expensive. I just don't use them. Never did use these. These are brand new. That's it for now. I came in the house and downloaded this and seen how long it was and I'm just going to leave it right there for right now. We'll have a part two on this one. Uh, I'll show it painted, show how I do the wiring and we'll listen to it once we get it installed. Once again, thank you Wild Wayne and thank you guys for viewing.